Today on Rust Belt Airgun, I'm going to review the SNR-357 Air Pistol by Crossman. The SNR stands for Snub Nose Revolver. The SNR-357 is a CO2 powered air pistol revolver that can be shot in both single or double action mode. A 12 gram CO2 cartridge is housed in the grip. This air pistol has dual ammo capability. It can shoot both .177 caliber BBs and .177 caliber pellets. The SNR-357 can shoot .177 steel BBs at velocities up to 400 FPS, .177 alloy pellets up to 500 FPS, and .177 lead pellets up to 350 FPS. It has a heavyweight full metal body and comfortable synthetic grip. The SNR-357 weighs a hefty 1 pound and 14.6 ounces, or 868 grams. Its overall length is 8 and a quarter inches, or 20.95 centimeters. And its height, from the top of the rear sight to the bottom of the grip, is 5 and 7 eighth inches, or 14.92 centimeters. The SNR-357 synthetic grips have a Crossman logo in red, which looks really cool. Its barrel is emblazoned with SNR.357. Just look at the bling of the SNR.357 silver hammer, safety, and trigger. Air pistol revolvers are one of my favorite types. I currently have three in my arsenal. My newly acquired Crossman SNR.357, my Crossman Vigilante, and last but not least, my newly restored Crossman 357 from the early 1980s. The Crossman SNR-357 comes in a clear plastic clamshell style packaging intended for retail sales. The packaging proudly displays the SNR-357 and its attributes such as dual ammo and full metal construction. One of the feet of this packaging contains six cartridges designed for pellets. The cartridges designed for BBs come preloaded in the cylinder of the air pistol. The back of the packaging includes specs and safety warnings in both English and French. The instruction manual is located between the cardboard insert. Interestingly enough, the actual manual is printed in six languages. I can only identify English, French, and Spanish. The SNR-357 safety and cylinder release button is located on the left side, just below the hammer. Push the safety button towards S to engage. Push the safety button towards F to disengage. Push the safety button towards open to release the cylinder. The SNR-357 safety and cylinder release button is located on the left side, just below the hammer. Engage the safety. Slide the grip cover back. Turn the piercing wing counterclockwise. Put a drop of pellet gun oil on the tip of the CO2 cartridge. Insert the CO2 cartridge tip up into the air pistol. Turn the piercing wing clockwise until you hear the hiss of CO2 entering the air pistol. Slide the grip cover forward. Disengage the safety when ready to fire. As mentioned, this air pistol can shoot both .177 caliber BBs and .177 caliber pellets using the provided cartridges. In order to shoot BBs, you must load them into the brown tip cartridges. You must load the pellets into the brass tip cartridges. The SNR-357 safety and cylinder release button is located on the left side, just below the hammer. Load BBs into the brown tip cartridges, or pellets skirt first into the brass tip cartridges.
push the safety button towards open and swing open the cylinder. The ejector rod is located on the front of the cylinder. Remove the current spent cartridges using the ejector rod. Insert cartridges small and first into the six chambers. Swing the cylinder back into the air gun frame until you hear a click. Engage the safety. Disengage the safety when ready to fire. The front sight of the SNR 357 is fixed, while the rear sight can be adjusted for both windage and elevation. The elevation adjustment screw is located on the top of the rear sight. Turn the elevation screw counterclockwise to raise the point of impact. Turn it clockwise to lower the point of impact. The windage adjustment screw is located on the right side of the rear sight. Turn the windage screw clockwise to move the impact to the right. Turn counterclockwise to move the point of impact to the left. The hammer's non-slip neural finish makes it easy to pull down with your thumb in single action mode. Trigger pull is medium and does not require a lot of effort. The only downside I notice when firing this air pistol is that the grip cover moves when firing and doesn't seem to want to stay locked in place. Today I decided to go back to my old Beeman competition style target. As you can see, the accuracy of the SNR-357 is not as good as other CO2 air pistols on the market. Due to the SNR-357 short 3 and 3 8 inch or 6 cm smoothbore barrel, this air pistol was probably best suited for plinking where accuracy is not as important. I love the all-metal construction of the Crossman SNR 357. The heft of this air gun makes you feel like you're firing a real firearm pistol. The combined safety and cylinder release on this air pistol is a nice feature. In addition, the pseudo cartridges and swing out cylinder add realism to this air pistol. Crossman's attention to detail on the SNR 357 is unprecedented, as it also is equipped with an ejector rod like a real firearm revolver. The downside of the SNR 357 is the grip cover doesn't completely lock in place and during firing it moves, cheapening the experience of using this fine air pistol. You can purchase the SNR 357 using my Amazon referral link in the description. Please like this post and subscribe to Rust Belt Airgun so that you're alerted to my future posts. Thank you.